guys, it's Asha. Welcome back to Reading with Toby. Today I have my December book haul for you guys. This is a bit smaller than last month's. I have my book of the month pick, I have a couple Christmas gifts, and then I also have my Black Friday order from Book Outlet. So let's go ahead and get started. First one we'll talk about is my book of the month pick, and that is Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey Mick. Kristen, I think that's how you say it. I decided to choose this romance novel because I am going on vacation and I'm going on a little Christmas cruise and I thought this would be the perfect book to take when you're sitting by the pool, sitting out by the beach. I thought it would be a nice, fun, entertaining read. I just know that this is a male-male romance following the president's son and the prince of England. I've heard really great things about it, so I'm excited to check it out. Okay, next we'll talk about my Christmas gifts. So my sister sent me this. She sent me Saga Volume 1, which is a graphic novel. A ton of people have read this on booktube and I'm very curious about it. I do love some graphic novels. But yeah, I just know it's following two characters. I believe they're two different from two warring um, planets and like two different species. And yeah, I don't know. I'm excited though. I've heard really good things i feel like every person who has read this freaking loves it so yeah we have that one and then the other book my sister got me is a book that she gets me every year that it is released for christmas and that is the illustrated edition of harry potter so goblet of fire came out this year and she got it for me i'm so excited i can add it to my little collection love the end pages and it's blue underneath. I haven't really flipped through it yet, but I'm excited. I have heard some people say that there are less illustrations than normal, but I mean, that's kind of like, I really don't know how they could add so many illustrations when the books get bigger and bigger, but here's like a gorgeous one of the dragon. So yeah, I'm excited. Oh my gosh, definitely next time I reread this series i'm definitely gonna have to reread the illustrated editions so there's that one and then one other book that i got for christmas i actually don't have with me because they sent the wrong copy so my friend bought me the waterstones edition special edition of the starless sea by aaron morgenstern and this book is beautiful if you haven't seen it it is gorgeous um he got it for me but they sent him the regular version for some reason not the special edition so hopefully they will be able to send the correct copy because that book is so beautiful and i can't wait to read it okay so those are all my christmas gifts now we can go ahead and get into the unboxing these are the books that i picked up like i said during the black friday sale i always always every year make a little black friday purchase um, even though I just ordered from Book Outlet, I have to order during Black Friday because the sale is just so good. And then I think that I figured out they have a student discount if you're um, in college or graduate school or medical school or whatever you're in. I think if you just have a .edu address, you get like an extra 10% off. And then I think I also had like points for something. I don't know. So it came out super cheap that I could add on top of the Black Friday discount. So let's go ahead and open it. Ooh. I think I got five books. Let's see. Number invoice again. Brown paper. Ah! Ooh, okay, I think I got four or five books. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, I got six books. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so here's a little sneaky sneak peek okay let's see i'll just put it here again okay so the very first book is this one here this is only human by sylvia nouvelle and this is the third book in the i don't know what this is called i just know the first book is called sleeping giants if you saw my last book haul i got the second book from book outlet and i saw the third one so i was like let's go ahead and complete the collection here and they're all hardcover so that's amazing they have these really cool um illustrations on the uh actual book so yeah, I really love this series. I've only read the first one. I need to obviously get to the rest. But this is a science fiction novel following a scientist. Um, when she was a little girl, she fell into this hole. And turns out it was, she fell into the hand of a giant robot, like alien robot. And it kind of takes off from there. The first book was really good. It was really thrilling, really funny, emotional. I loved it. And it had a pretty crazy ending. So I'm excited to keep this going yeah i'm excited so now i have that whole series that's 
fun. Okay, next we have a YA novel. Oh, this book is a lot bigger than I thought. This is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. Um, oh, it has a sticker still on it. But yeah, I've seen a lot of people on booktube talk about this book. And one day during uh, work, I had some free time. So I quickly downloaded a sample of her other book, An Enchantment of Ravens, I think that's what it's called. And I was surprisingly like was loving the writing. Um, but they didn't have that one on book outlet in hardcover. I really wanted in hardcover. So I saw this one. I was like, well, I know I like her writing. And a lot of people, I think, like this one even better than the other novel so I thought I'd just pick it up. I believe this one is just one girl in a library and the books kind of come alive and she has to take care of them. Something like that. I'm not sure but I'm down for this and I really like this cover. It's really pretty. It's not prettier in person. Next. Oh my gosh. I forgot I ordered this. Oh okay so I ordered Saw Kill Girls by Claire Legrand. I completely forgot I decided to pick this up. Okay so this is a YA novel. I think it's like a YA kind of horror thriller book um following girls in a small town i'm not quite sure i think there's like a monster or something like that i don't want to know too much but i do know people love this book um and i saw lala uh from books and lala really really enjoy this book so i'm down i really love this cover i have been wanting to pick this up from book outlet for a while so i guess i finally decided to just do it <laughs> All right, next we have one paperback, and that is Arc Right by Alan Steele. Now, this one, I won't be able to tell you what it's about. I just know that it's a science fiction novel. I saw Naya, is that who I saw talk about this book? I think that they're, like, trying to find a new planet to inhabit. Any book that has to do with space science fiction, space traveling, anything like that, I'm down for. So I'm excited for this one. Okay, next we have a book. This is Are You Sleeping by Kathleen Barber. And I saw one of my booktube friends, Geraldine. I'll link her video or channel down below. But she mentioned this book and it sounded really good. It has like a podcast element that's true crime. And I love true crime podcasts. Like the only podcast I listen to. Well, that and the Moth series. But I love my true crime podcast and this kind of has it like throughout the novel like i heard that and i was like i'm down and then i saw it on book outlet so i had to get it i don't want to know too much about it again so i'm going to go into it pretty blind it says the only thing more dangerous than a lie is the truth and i really like this bright yellow oh and the book underneath this bright yellow so yeah i'm excited about this one and then the last one <laughs> is another space book <laughs> so this is the wanders by meg howry i was so excited when this book first came out like it was one of my anticipated new releases but i never picked it up i don't know why and um they finally had it on book outlet i believe this is some sort of like space training or something like that i don't know literally you just have to tell me that there is a person who like works for nasa used to work for nasa nasa is involved they're sending people off to space anything like that i that's like one of my um what's the word not trope i don't know if that's a trope but one of my like plot points if you tell me there's that in a book i'm gonna want to read it so there's this one and again i think it has that like human emotional <laughs> thing and i need to figure out a better way to describe that but i love that so there's this book and i love this cover oh my goodness and i also think this is a pretty like slow burn book which i'm also down for okay so these are all the books that i picked up from book outlet i'm really excited i got a nice little variety here we got mainly science fiction and thrillers and a little bit of fantasy so that's a pretty good haul there that is my tiny little december book haul i'm excited to get to these but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye mm -hmm.